Sorry, people, we're back. Uh, it's Brian from LegalElbow.com. Uh, you can also find us at uh, BlogTalkRadio.com. I'm the main lowdown. That's where you get to know the lowdown of what's going on. So uh, i got a quick blog for you guys tonight. A uh, little, little, uh, little rundown of UFC 117. Um, it wasn't an overly great card. It was good. It was, was very good. I mean, I'm not going to say it sucked by any means, man. Uh, going to mainly go over the highlights. You know, I think that's pretty much the only thing that's really you know, absolutely necessary. But uh, i got some news for you guys also. Um, excuse me. One thing I'm going to run over real quick is uh, the winner of... The winner of, uh, excuse me, Dos Santos and Roy Nelson will be taking on the winner of Brock Lesnar versus Kane Velasquez. So that should be interesting. And in my personal opinion, I think we'll see. Uh, I think we'll see a. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not sure about Kane yet, to be honest with you. I got a couple different reasons why. You can kind of um, talk it out on comments if you guys want to. I can tell you my reasons why. I'm sure you guys tell me yours. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I think we'll see a uh, Brock Lesnar. I think it's inevitable. Brock Lesnar versus uh, Junior Dos Santos. I think is gonna go down. You know, I uh, that's a tough one to call, man. In my opinion, from what we, what we can see from both guys at this point, I think it's very tough to call. But uh, um, Fitch. Versus Alves, I mean, just your typical Fitch fight. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not ragging on the guy by any means because he does what he's got to do and gets the W, man, for sure. But uh, it, 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 and it was a, you know, it was action packed, man. It really was. It's not not my signature kind of fight that I like to see, but uh, but it was good, man. It was, it was good. But it's just the same way that Fitch gets every other win. You know what I mean? It's kind of a typical Fitch fashion, you know, like Mondo. Good buddy on uh, YouTube uh, says a lot. 15 minutes of pitch. Take out the decision, stay safe, and, and get the W. But uh, anyway, it was a good fight, though, you know. And uh, Alvin looked pretty good on his return, you know, after a year's time off. Brain surgery, all that, man. The guy had a lot of stuff, a lot of ailments. Not, well, not ailments, but I mean, he had a lot of uh, adversity coming into this, so. Uh, what else? Hughes versus Almeida. I really expected more from Almeida. Kind of really hoped he would have uh, done a little better than that, but Matt Hughes, man, just would still be a badass, man. Um, I don't know, man. I think Hughes should uh, should be seeing some better uh, competition. You know, I'm not really sure it's going to happen. Because I think uh, UFC's probably starting to keep him on safe ground now. That he's a Hall of Famer and he feels that he's getting old. Because one thing he did mention about this card is he said he'd be, he'd be uh, honored to be the oldest fighter on this card. Dude, the guy's 36 years old. What does he think he's 50 or something? I mean, I just thought that was kind of, kind of silly, you know, in my opinion. But, um, he was looking great, man. You know, he caught, caught Almeida with a, uh, with a the left, I believe. Stumbled Almeida, you know, jumped down and got him with a, a classic wrestling joke, you know, a signature joke of his own. Not of his own, but, I mean, it, it is wrestling, so. Old-style wrestling choke, uh, who gets it? Who gets the win? Um, main event: Jail versus Silva. The whole fight, I'm thinking, what the fuck is Silva doing? Man, he's throwing the fight. You know, what, do we need to see this? You know what I mean? You know, we we seen it elsewhere. We've seen it. You know, I don't know, man. I, I was pissed. And then at the end of the end of the fight, we hear uh, Silva's got a uh, Injured rib going into the fight, but he said because the UFC and the fans, I, I didn't want to call off the fight, blah, blah, blah. Um, what are we supposed to say? You know what I mean? What am I supposed to say about that? You know, I don't think Anderson Silva's kind of guy to bullshit, but hey, man, he's safe face, maybe so. I, I don't know, man. But I don't think there was any BS going on there, just my personal opinion. Uh, Chan looked great, though, man. I watched some of his training videos before the fight, man. He, he looked badass and ready to go, man. He looked badass. Um, and was certainly prepared and proved it, but, uh, he also proved it, you know, I mean, from what we're looking at, he proved it against an injured fighter. I mean, so what, you know, I think if they win again and we had a uh, Silva that's, you know, full gear, ready to go, no injuries, no nothing, no, you know, I have a bruised rib or injured rib, whatever you want to call it, 
Um, I think Chael would get schooled, man, just my opinion. But, you know, Chael might get in there a little bit, but I think, you know, with next thing, he's not going to make it. You know, that's just my opinion. But um, I wanted to throw this, guys, or throw this at you guys, too. It's a uh, Walk Talk Radio tomorrow night, Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like I said, uh, blogtalkradio.com, MMA Lowdown, where you get the lowdown on what's happening. Um, we're calling it Segway Sunday. You jump in with us, you know, 917-889-8894 if you want to call us. Um, or you can jump in the chat room, you know, just bring your subjects. You know, we're going to run down all the subjects that everybody brings in. So we're going to have some of our own as well. So either way, man, it should be a fun show. It should be cool. So anyhow, uh, Strike Force, which I've been bitching about them, you know, mainly on Blog Box. I haven't got much of a chance to bitch about them on here. It, it, it just... In order to have a, uh, you know, a good, lengthy talk about things, I got to do it over there. Over here, I'm, I'm so limited, you know what I mean? So, they had a middleweight tournament they were going to put on for top contention to take on the winner of Tim Kennedy and John Ray. So, I guess that's back on now. I don't know if a lot of people bitch to Coker and say, man, what the fuck are you doing? You know, but we were. Not saying he heard us, because... <laughs> But uh, other news, Ben Saunders gets cut from the UFC. Tough times, man. UFC's cutting everybody, man. You know what I mean? Jardine gets cut, which, you know, I tipped the beer to that one. I was pretty happy of that. Cause it's like it's about freaking time. I don't, I don't wish anything bad of the guy, but it's like, come on, man. He's got to go down to a bush league company and at least earn, him, earn his way back in here if he's going to get back in somehow. You know what I mean? Because he's done horribly. I don't know. I'm just speaking the truth, man. I'm not, like I said, man, I'm not trying to rag on the guy or whatever, but... Anyway, moving along here, uh, Jardine will be taking on Trevor Prangley at Shark Fights 13. Should be a stacked night of fights. Not. Um, no. Actually, it should be alright. Maybe it's Doom, though, because it's on September 11th this year. 9-11. <laughs> uh, WEC 51 is uh, officially been announced as a funeral for Manny Gamburian. Manny Gamburian will be taking on Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo will beat the living trash with Manny Gamburian. I can just about put a freaking paycheck on it and guarantee it. I don't understand how Manny Gamburian got his way in here. But anyway, he beat, uh, he beat a, uh, whatever, a Mike Brown, Mike Thomas Brown, um, which that guy was going through a lot of problems, you know what I mean, which, which sucks, you know what I mean, but it still is really no excuse, you know what I mean, you show up to fight, you gotta fight, not, not worry about your personal issues, you know what I mean, you gotta put that shit in the back of your head, man, and, and, and not worry about it, but, anyway, and that, that's easier said than done, you know what I mean, we all know that, so, anyway, you know, move on here, uh, Strike Force Houston is coming up soon, very soon, um, on that card, I'll do a quick rundown of that card. You got Bobby Lashley taking on Chad Griggs. Chad Griggs is coming in with a uh, eight and one, excuse me, eight and one record. Um, very comparable record to, to Bobby's. I think Bobby's six and zero. Oh, I think um, he's got Chad. Chad's got seven KOs, one submission, and one submission loss. So I think I think that might be uh, probably one of the better fights we've seen from Bobby Lashley. I think it might be it might be a little bit better of a test, basing it on record. I don't really know much about Chad Crazy. So you got KJ News taking on George Gurgel. I think it should be pretty good. You know, I, of course, I, I, I kind of vote a little more in the direction of uh, KJ News, obviously. But uh, and uh, you got Jock Ravers, Tim Kennedy, obviously. Um, I don't know, I, mean, I, I really don't know a whole lot about Tim Kennedy because nobody's talked anything about him, you know, like I've said months, month for months now, you know, Coker never does anything to, to try to promote these guys other than fights, you know, and it's like, can you do some kind of show on CBS or some kind of show on Showtime, you know, whatever, I don't care if it's a every other week show, some kind of show to get you familiarized with these guys, otherwise nobody's going to remember them until they got a title match. It's just ridiculous, really. You're not building anything. All you're doing is building just to your next card. One card to the next card to the next card to the next card. 
It's just, I honestly think, you know, as far as the show goes, you know, as far as getting people in, involved into their fighters and whatnot, unless they get somebody that's already well known before they even sign, nobody's going to know, have any idea who these guys are. So, anyway, uh, Raphael Fajal is taking out King Mole for the light heavyweight title. And here we go again. I know very little to nothing about Raphael Fajal. But, uh, you know, King Mo's good. King Mo's very good. Did a very good job against uh, Guard Musazi. Uh, pretty much controlled the top, you know what I mean? Got the takedown, all that stuff. Got numerous takedowns, but walked out with a softball attached to the side of his face. Um, and personally, I think he lost from the guards. Fighting from the guard. The guard fucked him up from the guard, so. But apparently that's not a, not a thing in that uh, athletic commission, wherever they're fighting. Apparently that, that has no bearing on uh, MMA or something, so, which, is, which is a damn shame because the guard fucked him up. Anyhow, uh, Strike Force Challenges card just happened last night. Yeah, it happened. Um, anyway, uh, it was a great night as far as I heard. I didn't see it. I heard it was pretty good. Riggs, Riggs tapped out Taylor. Uh, Tate, Nisha Tate wants to, you know, make a quick work of the uh, Japanese chick. And uh, apparently she wants another shot at Sarah Kaufman. So, hey, we'll see what happens. I'm not too excited about uh, Challenger's cards. You know what I mean? I'm not too excited about Strike Force altogether, to be honest with you. I think mean, Strike Force has really sucked lately, but they brought out some good news in the last week or so. So hopefully they can... Uh, Kind of get back on the uh, back on the rise here, maybe not back on the rise, but at least back on the slightly maybe on the map, if it's possible. Uh, but that's pretty much it, man. Legalelbow.com. This is Brian. Head over to Blog Talk Radio tomorrow. Search MMA Lowdown and uh, join us, man. Join us for the radio show tomorrow. Like I said, Segway Sunday. Bring any subject you got, man. Anything you got. You really, really want to talk about the silver flight? Someone's son in fight, you want to talk about uh, some upcoming strike force card, bring it, you know what I mean? Keep it to a narrow subject. I mean, I don't want to say, hey, yeah, I want to talk about strike force Houston. You know, it's a big subject as a whole, you know what I mean? So narrow it down to one fight or something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, at least we can get to, to everybody, you know what I mean? So we've got, we got a few subjects of our own. So. But uh, all in all, besides all the uh, segues and different stuff we're going to be doing, um, there should be a lot of uh, little news, news clips and stuff like that, too, that we're going to throw in there. So, uh, it should be a good night, man. You guys should join us. We'll see you there. All right, man, we're signing out. See you guys there, man.